Welcome to my YouTube channel, Nelly the Coder. Today we're going to be talking about code structure in JavaScript. How you actually structure your code, what are the best practices and all that. So before diving into the lecture, please make sure you watch the previous lectures in, uh, on JavaScript in order to follow along. So yeah, let's just dive into the lecture. Code structure. Statements are syntax constructs and commands that perform some actions. For example, the statement alert, you know, shows the message hello world, as we have seen in the previous lectures. We can have as many statements as in your code as we want. So statements can be separated with a semicolon and all that. Semicolons, let's just talk about semicolons or semicolons. In JavaScript, semicolons may be omitted if line breaks exist. It is interpreted automatically by the JavaScript called automatic semicolon insertion. But in some cases, it can create errors, alert something, or this. Um, let's just uh, you know put our hands on this and see what it really means. So, for example, I have a, a variable that's this, and I have another variable. Let's say we have a number two that is one, two, three, four, five, six. So in this case, we have we can do console log you know, um, number and number two. So we have a semicolon over here. It will work as expected. We'll get two numbers, one, two, three, and four, five, six. That is expected. But we can also omit the number because we have a line break. We have this one line and then we have a line break and we have a second line. So it will also work as expected. So what happens and what causes the problem you can see that in some cases it can create errors for example we have a message uh console log or alert something and then we have a loop on some array and we want to print it for example uh let's just get rid of this for now uh, let's see we have uh, and we will show a message direct over here we can say hello world hello world and we can also do, for example, there's an array and we can do for each and we can console log the value. Don't worry about this. Uh, we can just learn it later on in the next lectures. But for now, just for the demonstration purpose, I want to show you guys what hap where it happens. So when I refresh the page, you can see the hello world and then you see the arrays, you know, how it puts the values. So this is ex this is expected, but what happens if I omit the the semicolons from here and save the page and then you know do this? So now you can see there is an error. Can I read the properties undefined reading two and then you just get the hello world through the hello world and this statement is totally executed. So what happens is when JavaScript parses this file, and, you know read this file, so it sees the code like this. See, so it is attached. So it seems to be like if when we talk about errors and objects, then you'll get to know how, how this really works. But in some special cases like this, it never works. So you just have to put a semicolon in order to make it work. So when I put the semicolon and refresh, I see the expected uh, this expected results. So yeah, this is, could be prog problematic, uh, the semicolons in some cases, so it's better not to omit, all, um, omit it all the time. Uh, comments. Let's talk about comments in JavaScript or you know any programming language. It is necessary to add comments which describe what the code does and why. So for example, if we are declaring a variable over here and uh, you know we, we call it first name, and, you know and uh, name or whatever uh, so what this line of code really does we just have to specify it in that comment so um, we can write our comments like this we just have to write the forward slashes and uh, you know we can write a comment for example user first name so we can just specify okay what what this line is about we can talk about this okay this is a user first name it is more um you know practical to do it in a real world program or you real write application where you have a thousand lines of code and the user need to understand if there is another engineer or developer that wants to understand your code 
uh, then it's better to write the comments or or there, and it's better. It's a better practice to do that. Comments can be put into any place of a script. They don't affect its execution because the engine simply ignores them. So it's not executed. It's just if you when the compiler sees it, uh, then it will just be ignored. Types of comments. We have single line comments. We have multi line comments. So yeah. Uh, let's just see what is a single line comment. So we have done single line comments until now, but we can also have something like, for example, lost name, and we can say Dante. Sorry, Dante, and uh, we can write. For example, we just don't want to write, you know, multiple a single line comment, or if you want to write, you know, multiple line comments, you can just copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, all of this, but it doesn't really seem very good. So for multiple line comments, JavaScript has some special uh, things that you can do. You just have to put two asterisks uh, or two stars between the forward slashes and just put enter and you can write, uh, you know, multiple line comment, multiple line comments. So yeah, this is really good. In some cases, you need a single line comment like this. In some cases, you need to write, you know, uh, the multiple line comments. And also, we have another thing that you cannot nest comments. So, for example, if you want to try to comment over here, nesting comments. So if you do something like this, you can see we already get an error over here. But yeah, I can type testing multi or testing nested comments when I save it and when I go to browser and refresh you see and well regular expression missing this so it's basically caused because we are using nested comments so you cannot have nested comments uh, you can just write comments after a comment if you want so yeah that is not really supported so you cannot do that actually you cannot write nested comments that will get it will throw you error that we just saw so yeah i think that is it on this lecture uh, i hope that you'll learn something new we have talked about the comments and you know, how you can structure your code what is the importance of semicolon in your code and uh, you should be writing this or not it's really recommended to write the semicolons but yeah sometimes it's not but i i hope you find this video yeah, uh, interesting and you know we have learned so far something so please like and share the video subscribe to the channel and make sure to press the bell icon for future updates until then i'll see you in the next lecture